You are welcome to the introductory video of the National Council of Nurses and Midwives Web Application and Services Portal. In order to access this web application, visit ncnm.rw/applications. To access the Nurses and Midwives Register, click Check the Register button. Once you're on the Check the Register page, you can enter the nurse or midwife's name or license number to search the validity of that nurse or midwife. To view your examination results, click Search Examination Results button. On the Examination Results page, you can enter your examination code and then click search, you'll be able to view the results for your examination. To log in, once you visit ncname.rw slash applications and you already have an account, please click Please enter your username and password and then enter the code, the capture code, and then click login. If you do not have an account already, you can click on create an account. However, if you have an account and you've forgotten your password, click forgot your password link. And once you click your forgot password link, you be you enter your email address and then enter the capture code and the new password will be sent to your email address so you can reset your email address. If you're new to the system and you haven't registered yet and you're a student, you're a nurse or a midwife, you can click on create an account. This applies to CPD providers as well. When you click on create an account and you're a student, you can go to create an applicant account or if you're a nurse or a midwife you go to create an applicant account if you're a cpd provider you go to create a cpd provider account so when we go to create an applicant account and you're a student or a midwife or a nurse you enter all the detailed information your photo the names date of birth gender marital status nationality your ID, names on the ID, place of issue, your father or guardian's name, your mother or guardian's name, and also a file number in case you already uh, registered within the nurse, the, the council. And then you, before you click on create an account, you go to the next tab where you enter your address, where you, you are located, and then you go to education and work experience, and then you enter the schools you attended, the different schools, the qualifications that you have, employer details for the last 10 years, the registration, any registration that you have on any nursing council or board of nursing, and then you enter employment type and all the other information that is needed. And then you go to account info, where you enter the username you want to be using on the system, your email address, which will be used for communication. The system will be sending you communication emails and also the password that you want to use and then once you're done with this tab the account information that's when you enter the capture code and then you click create new account please do not click create new account before you fill all the necessary information that is required for you to register so you have to enter all the information the personal information the addresses education work experience account information and once you're done with all of that, you click on the, you enter the capture code and then you create a new account. Now, for the CPD providers, it's uh, the same process. For the CPD providers, you click on create an account and then you'll be presented with this form where you'll have to enter the details, the logo, the mission activities, the training courses, uh, the target groups the course facilitators and all the other information that is required, including the attachments for the CVs, the degrees, uh, the certificates, as well as the ID or passport of the, uh, the course providers. And then you also have to provide the address, phone, the phone, the website, the phone, the tele office telephone number, 
the location and then the account information, username and email, as well as password that you intend to use as a CPD provider. And once you're done with all that, that's when you enter the capture code. Please do not enter the capture code before filling all the tabs of the required information because your form won't be submitted. You have to fill all the tabs of the required information, enter the capture code, and then click Submit. Now, if you already have an account within the system, all you have to do is enter your username, password, and the capture code as a CPD provider, and then you'll be entered, you'll be allowed into the system. We are now going to log in as uh, an applicant or as a nurse or a midwife. You enter your login details. First of all, you start with your username. Then you enter your password. Uh, remember that if you've forgotten your password, you click here and you enter your email address and the new password with instructions will be emailed to your email address. So you're going to enter the capture code as well. Then we click login. Once we've logged in, uh, this is what you see as an applicant. Application forms where you're able to see the different application forms that you can used to request for services from the National Council of Nurses and Midwives. You're able to see your submitted applications and their statuses. You're able to see draft applications, which are applications that you're still in draft, draft format and you haven't submitted them. Then also documentation, which is a guide, including documents which are guides and uh, any other documentation that the National Council would like to share with its members. Then there's forum for communication between the members and also the CPD where you'll be able to see notifications and announcements about any CPD courses. And then there's account where you're able to edit your account, your names, your address, your courses, you can upgrade your account and then log out once you're done with using the system. Application forms, when you click on application forms, you're able to view the different application forms. There's application for indexing, application for examination, application for registration, application for temporary license, application for license renewal, application for reinstatement to the register, application for license or certificate replacement, application for uh, qualification upgrade. And then uh, as we explained here, you'll be able to see your application statuses and then a draft applications as well. So we're going to uh, visit one of the application forms, uh, application for indexing. Let's assume you're a student and you need to apply for indexing. You click on application forms and then you click on application for indexing. Application for indexing, you fill in the name of the school and then the program you're studying, the date of commencement, where you previously indexed, where you previously, previously indexed with any nursing or midwifery council. And then you enter all the necessary information that is needed. You also make a payment and then you indicate the bank that you made the payment from. You indicate the slip number and the amount paid. And then once you're done with that, you also attach the proof of payment. And then you submit that application for indexing form. When you go back to the application forms, you can also apply for other services as well. Application for examination, if you need to do an examination. And then, first of all, you read the instructions and then you acknowledge, you attach the proof of payment, the date you paid, and then have you sat for any other examination. And then uh, you fill in all the other information and then you apply for examination. So the same applies to all the forms uh, that are necessary to apply requesting for services, for service from the National Council of Nurses and Midwives. And once you have applied, your applications go into submitted applications with the status received, and then uh, they get processed. You'll be receiving notification on where your application has reached. And once it has been approved, you receive an email uh, that your application has been approved.
Now, if you need to uh, uh, participate in the forum, you click on forum. There are different topics. You can add a new forum topic or you can comment on an existing uh, forum topic. To view any CPD courses available, you click on CPD. And then once you click on CPD, you'll be able to view any existing courses available. And uh, you can even read more if you need to apply in these courses. You can also be able to edit your account. And to edit your account, you need to click on account. And once you click on account, you'll be able to view your account details, your picture, your names, your ID, and any other information that's needed. And then you, you are able to view the different information that you entered when registration now to change this information you click on update account which is up here update account and then once you click on update account uh, you be able to change any other information in case you need to change your picture you need to change your names you need to change your date, uh, any other information that's needed to be changed you can change it here and then uh, uh, Change your address, you update your education, your status. Uh, you can also change your password in case you need to change it. And then once you're done with all the changes, please remember to click on save. Now, once you're done with all uh, the work you're doing on your account, you should always remember to log out. To log out, you click on this log out link. Then you'll be logged out of the system. So you don't have to leave it open just in case someone tampers with the laptop or computer you've been using and then they change your details. So you should always remember to log out for security purposes. Now, as we've gone through the application forms, please remember that all forms are different. They're not identical, they're different forms. If you're applying for qualification upgrade, for example, it has on its own requirements. Like you need to up upload your current uh, license, you need to upload the proof of payment, the date of payment, and, and all that is, and information that is needed. And uh, when you go to a different form as well, you'll find that all forms are unique. They don't have the same information. So you should always take, be careful on the form that you're filling and make sure you're uploading the necessary attachments, you're filling in the necessary information. You should read uh, the form titles carefully. Title, license, certificate number, qualification levels. And this is when you're applying for a license or certificate replacement. And then once you are done with attachments, you click submit. And then the council will receive your application. They will process it. And once the application has been, once it has been completed, you receive notification. But then even through the application, the, the processing process, when the application is incomplete, you receive a comment your email on what is missing on the application so you can log into the system and then change what needs to be changed all that will be you'll be able to view uh, in your submitted applications all your applications and your statuses so you can be able to have a make a follow-up on the application process so as an applicant that's what you go through first of all remember you register if you're not registered and once you're registered you log in and then once you've logged in, you go to application forms to apply for any of the services from the National Council of Nurses and Midwives. And then also remember that all your applications will be displayed in the submitted applications page. And then your draft applications will be in the draft applications page. And for documentations, any documentation that you, the council needs to communicate with you will be on the do documentation page. Sorry. And then you'll be able to view the different documentations available for download. You can even search for the documentation. And then for the forum, remember it is for discussion among the members. And then for CPD, that's where you find any courses available. Once you're done with everything you're working on in your account, your applications, viewing the status, changing your account information, always remember to log out because if you do not log out, Someone can sit on the computer you've been using or any other device that you've been using and they'll change your personal information and they will mess with your document. 
which is unsecure, please always remember to log out once you're done with the changes. And to log out, please click on log out and you'll be logged out of the system. When you click on log out, you'll be logged out of the system. And in case we need to log back into the system, we always uh, visit ncnm.lw slash applications. And then we enter our username and password. Then we enter the capture code. So you can be able to log in once again. And always remember that if you've forgotten your password, you click on forgot your password and then you'll be sent to a page where you'll be able to enter your email address or username that you use to access the system and then you enter this code once you click on email new password an email will be sent to the email address you use to register into the system and then you you'll be given instructions on how to change your password and then you change it and get a new password so that will help you just in case you forget you forgot uh, your password and then you need to log in again. And always remember that if it's your first time to use this system, you haven't used it before and you're not even registered, always click to uh, click on create an account. And then on this page, create an account. You whether you if you're a student, a nurse, or a midwife, you click on create an applicant account. And if you're a CPD provider, you click on uh, create a CPD provider account. And uh, another thing is if you need to take the register for nurses and midwives, you click on check the register so you'll be able to see the register of nurses and midwives. You can search on any nurse or midwife in their status. And you can also view the examination results in case you uh, applied for examination and you, you, you did the, the exam at the National Council of Nurses and Midwives and you need to see the results for the examination. When you click on examination results, you enter the code, your examination code, then you'll be able to view the results for your examination. Basically, that's uh, an introductory video on the web application for the nurses and midwives, and this video will guide you through usage of this application as an applicant or as a general public to, to, view the, the, to check the register of nurses and midwives. Thank you so much. For any other questions, please write, write to info at ncnm.rw. Thank you so much.